sitting for a moment. I... I thought I was done for. I thought perhaps I might have been dead. This... This is all like some sort of terrible dream. But it's real, isn't it? I stood before the night song. I heard Lady Shah's words. And I failed her. Worse than failed her, I defied her. Just because of what that Asimar said. I tried to leave, but Shah blocked me. Punished me for failing her. I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but I had no idea. It felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast. That all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught, abandoned by her goddess and all former allies. And as for her divine magic, admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. You're lucky to have such confidence. Me. I think the full price of what I've done has yet to reveal itself. I'm a target to Lady Shah's followers now. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. What she said to me back in the Shadowfell about the wolves, that's no coincidence. She took flight to hunt down Kethrick Thorm. All I can do is help hasten his demise and hope that answers soon follow. Do you really need to ask? I'm sorry. I have a lot on my mind. The shadow fell. Night song. I can think of little else. That's more true than you may have intended. person I was before. The Shadowheart I thought I was would never even dreamed of defying the Lady Shah. I'm a stranger to myself. The sooner I speak to Night Song, the sooner I'll know what the future holds for me. Assuming I have a future at all. I suppose it was only a matter of time until Shah took vengeance. For the Lady of Loss, she does not like losing. Poor Shadowheart. The gods are nothing if not vindictive in their vengeance. 